Hey guys, good afternoon and welcome back to this D Flutter series that we're doing. Yes, I found my wedding dress, pulled it out, kids tried it on. Anyway, that's irrelevant to the to today's task. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm just going to again work through clothes, get them into my wardrobe and get them into the drawers. Then we'll start on the bedside locker and I'll show you what it's, what situation we're in at the moment. Um. But we're getting there. We've decluttered all the clothes so far. That was down in the utility room and around the house. This is now clothes we decided I was going to keep. I am going to go through them again. Maybe look at them with a bit more of a harsher eye. Um, I did hear somewhere that someone said 80% of your wardrobe is unused. And we always reach for the same 20% of our wardrobe. So bearing that in mind, that sort of gave me a new perspective on things. Because obviously... This pile has been in front of my wardrobe now since probably a week and a half ago um, since we did the clothes and I haven't opened my wardrobe once. So it makes me think most things in there are probably ready to go. So let me show you where we're starting today. Okay, so this here is the clothes pile we were left with. So obviously my bed. I do make my bed every morning as soon as I get out of it. Um, and obviously dogs come up and jump on it so um hence why it always looks but we're going to sort all that out so i have the pile of clothes here need sorting and the wardrobes now my wardrobes are they're tall but they're quite small so um i'm going to hang up what needs hanging up and what needs folding i'm actually going to put into the drawers here so um I'm going to pull them out and set them on my bed. Now, there is clothes there. But they're mainly just um, new clothes. So, or not new clothes, but new up to the room. So, I'm going to add them into the pile and we'll fly through them. I know some of them are washing. So, yeah. So, goal for today is to get the clothes done. Bedside locker done. See, if I open, like it doesn't, the bedside locker isn't too bad till I start opening drawers. And there's then, that's that black one. Then I have this one here. It's obviously just full of crap. So I want to get through them. If I get through the clothes and the bedside lockers, then tomorrow I just really want to clean. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, just to give you my supervisor at the moment. Has moved. Where are you gone? He was out there sunning himself. No, he's definitely gone. Oh no, there he is, look. He must be coming up because he thinks I'm stopping. Right, anyway, let's get this started because we all know what it's like sorting and folding clothes. And then when I get to the drawers and stuff, I can slow it down. All right, guys, so I moved all the clothes from the floor onto the bed. Already it makes such a difference. It's funny, isn't it? And I have moved the clothes from there off. Now, this is confession time. Okay, I'm always giving it to the kids. Blah, blah, blah. But this is confession time for me. This suitcase here, I brought back from America. I have looked through it, but I have not unpacked it. And it's full of my new clothes. <gasps> I know, Kerry, stop. Evil. Okay, so the wardrobes I've opened. So up here, it, this is my winter bedding I put up here. As you can see, I like quite a lot of blankies and stuff on my bed. Um, so they're all stored up there, which is fine. This is my wardrobe looking really empty, but there's a lot of stuff in there that can go. I mean, jumpers and stuff, obviously, you don't wear them during the summer. But um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there that can go. I'm not sure what's down the bottom here. That bear at the back, this lad here, the kids bought him for me for, I think, 2019 and him and my 46 year old teddy bear normally are on my bed but they haven't been because i've been moving my bed around so need to go through what's in there top drawer doesn't work bottom drawer is empty so then in here in this wardrobe here sort of a bit it's actually shorter than the other one anyway there's all empty hangers in there and i keep my shoes down the bottom and i haven't a clue that's off Haley's ipad the box off it from years ago 
and I haven't a clue what's in the bag behind it. See something purple there? Don't know what that is either. So there you go. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take out the top two drawers here. Supervisor's on the job again. Um, that's the bag. This here is the bag off my wedding dress. So I'm going to take out these two drawers, put them on the bed because what I normally put in here is um, underwear, obviously top drawer. Bottom drawer or middle drawer then is usually uh, leggings, stuff like that. And I haven't decided what I'm doing with the bottom drawer yet. But yeah, I'm going to take out the top two and put them on the bed so we can, as we're sorting clothes, if they need to be folded and rolled, they can be folded and rolled and put away. It goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out sun is shining but the rain is welcome to friends are nearby don't need another view time is not on my mind but then it's you oh All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet, whoa No, not yet, whoa No, no, not yet, whoa I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere They keep saying It feels like I'm lying every time someone asks how it goes And I save the details that actually mean something mm -hmm. okay, So a change of plan I'm actually going to put my night dresses My night dresses, my bras, knickers All in my bedside locker Down here, the black one Can you see it down here? And then in the bottom drawer and in the top drawer, I'm going to put medicine and stuff I want to keep beside my bed. I was going to put it in the big drawers, but uh, decided against it. On hindsight, I don't know. But yeah, time to get going. So I just took a break. So I've been at it about two hours and I'm losing the will to live at this stage. So this is where we are at the moment. This is their jumpers, they're folded. They're gonna go into the bottom drawer on the three. I was gonna put my leggings and tops in one like, but I've ended up putting my trousers in here. But these over here, these are all leisure ones. Like they're like woody ones that you'd wear in the house then I have some jean leggings here and other leggings here and then I've got like vest tops here and here I've got warmer tops oh my god Tony stop pushing this pile here is all my underwear swimsuits night dresses all stuff like that I didn't realize it so much so that's gonna have to be decluttered and I am just about to start on the suitcase I said these here are all the this scarf is so soft I love this scarf, but it's only, I mean, it's long, it's big, it's bulky, it's really for the dead of winter, but it's a gorgeous. But there are my jumper, there are more bras up there. So, yeah, so. And my wardrobe, let's have a look at my wardrobe halfway through. So, a little bit fuller. We're going to see maybe some of that stuff, some of the jumpers might come out. And again it's just i'm organizing and then i'm going no i actually need to do this different and then doing it so it is taking time but at least i'm doing it i'm going to do it right okay let's jiggle this stuff around and i get back into it sorry before we get back into it, this is the pile of clothes that we're decluttering now i haven't got to that bottom drawer yet but this is what we're decluttering now at the moment so yeah i'm happy i am actually happy i feel like i can get it's long gone hard going but I feel I'm getting somewhere okay so there's the supervisor back on 
Judy. There are two bags of rubbish we've only got so far. I have the bottom drawer there empty. So I have, so that's ready for jumpers and stuff. Um, as for the bed, these are the clothes here I took out of the suitcase from America and these are the tops. I think I've hung up maybe one or two tops and this is what we're left with. I will be happy if I can get this done today and I can get back and I can get into bed tonight. I'll say it's 10 to 7. Um, so yeah, so we're going to just try and finish off this, get the bed clear. So then tomorrow all we'll have is that, that and the top of the dresser there as you can see so we're actually not doing too bad an awful lot of what's in the drawers i think is going to go in the bin but once i get the clothes and the drawers organized that that's a major major thing right let's crack on with it but i'm not gonna wake up wake up Don't so it is now 10 to 7 in the evening and i am exhausted i have to say i've stopped had dinner Kerry cooked dinner so um yeah, I stopped and had dinner. Ooh, I was keeping some for later too. Anyway, um, I have removed all my underwear, nightwear, anything like that down um, off the bed because I can sort through that off camera. Obviously, I don't want to be going uh, with me while I'm looking through my underwear. I think I have a problem with buying underwear. I have tons of knickers and stuff. I have to get rid of it. Anyway, irrelevant and beside the point. Apologies guys, myself and Kerry were in here last night, I've won the curtains closed over just to keep it um, shine off the room. But we were in here last night while I was sorting out my underwear and stuff and chatting and I thought my camera was recording but it hadn't just run out of power. So I'm just going to show you where we're leaving off after day one. So we still have the mess of these units but what I did do last night was I got my wardrobe organized so let me show you that so this is my wardrobe now as you can see I have tops hanging there trousers and a couple of the longer tops I've only got your man the teddy left in the back there I have a thing for my socks here and this is just stuff that I want to keep on open perfumes and stuff that has to be kept out of daylight. So there and there. I've managed to fix the drawers here. So this is where I've put my underwear. So obviously underwear over here, pajamas and night dresses here, and my array and plethora of colours of different bras. And then in the bottom one now I do have to come back and clean so I wouldn't be too worried down here I've just put some stuff that I'm keeping from summer obviously summer tops and stuff I'm still using so and I use them during the winter like a vest under stuff so but this is some shorts and stuff I want to keep now that we're hitting September and then in oops move some stuff here my shoes bag these are just bags that we pulled out from the wardrobes so then in here I just have my dresses so these are the shorter dresses are here they just fit and then here on this oh let me just get it organized on this hang you down anything I could put it up, but it would just squish these a bit more. These are like jumpsuits, long dresses. Yeah, that's really it. Long dress and a jumps two jumpsuits. So they're all hanging there. And I still have to do my shoes. I haven't gone through my shoes yet. So we also got four bags of decluttering out. So this is one, two, three, four. That's all washing and stuff from the kids and myself. These suitcases here are empty, but I am keeping them for Hayley and Kerry moving. It'd just be easier to move their stuff in a big suitcase. All right, so we still have the dresser to do. I think I was very ambitious at the beginning of the estate thinking I could get 
the side lockers and all done. We haven't done them. We've just done the clothes, organised the clothes. That's my bra, my polka dotty bra. So in here, I have all my trousers, well, leggings, jeggings, and casual wear in the top drawer. I'm actually going to move this to the second drawer. And then in here, I have warmer tops are here and sort of lighter tops are all here. Um, yeah, I'd prefer my my tops on top of the trousers. And then down here, I have all my jumpers. These don't need to be hung. So I've got all my jumpers in there. And then at the very back here, I have my scarves for the winter. So they're all in there. So I'm pretty happy with how far I've come. As I said to you, I think I was a bit ambitious the first day thinking I could get all the clothes sorted and arranged and organised and declutter as I was going and the bedside lockers and the spare locker. Because it's just, I actually totally underestimated how much I could get done. But anyway, look, we're going to start day two later on, probably tomorrow. Because I'm exhausted. I'm actually exhausted. I'm going to try and get some washing done today. And um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. And I will see you in... Part two.